Okay, let's have a look at installing uh, some plugins in Sublime that will be helpful. Uh, now to do this, you need to go to uh, the package control uh, page and you might find that in the, uh, the blog article about the Angular Tools training. And uh, there's the link there. And uh, package control is actually one of the harder things to install in Sublime. Once it's there, everything else is fairly easy. Uh, and so it gives you this uh, script uh, here that it asks you to copy and paste. And so control C to copy. And uh, then the instructions here are actually wrong where it says control and, uh, and uh, backtick. It's actually control and apostrophe. So if I do control and apostrophe here, uh, there we go. And uh, then I can copy and paste a script in here and when I press enter that will run. I'm not going to do that because uh, I've already got uh, package control installed on my machine and uh, once uh, package control is installed uh, then you can uh, do uh, control shift and P and it uh, it brings up uh, a list of all the commands which uh, Sublime understands and it has a kind of a fuzzy matching and so if you type in begin to type in install then uh, here it's matching the IN with package, package control install if I press uh, enter there and uh, it's going to bring up the installer and this lists all the packages again I can do uh, fuzzy matching here and uh, if you remember, we are using uh, SAS for uh, our CSS, and it would be nice if we had some uh, syntax highlighting for that. So I can do a search for uh, SCSS. Uh, let's try SAS, S A S S, and uh, let's try SAS support uh, for Sublime. Uh, that sounds like what I want. It's going to give me, uh, hopefully, uh, highlighting so let's have a look in app styles main uh, scss and um, it's not highlighted at the moment uh, it should do it based on file extension but because i've just installed it it's uh it's not registered yet um so i will do uh control p and uh, ss set uh, and control shift p for commands set syntax and uh, SAS and now my uh, SAS is uh, syntax highlighted here you can see we've got uh, a uh, variable take that out and uh, you know our imports these are all uh, syntax highlighted so some uh, some uh, packages I might recommend for uh, for sublime uh, are uh, editor config. Uh, this uh, allows Sublime to understand the editor config file, uh, which is uh, laying down various rules to do with uh, indentation and using spaces for tabs and these kind of things. Uh, this does nothing unless you have the uh, the uh, editor config uh, package installed. Uh, to install it, you just do the same thing. You do uh, Control Shift. Uh, install uh, package control and you'd search for uh, editor config um, it's not going to find it for me because uh, I've already uh, got it installed uh, so it only lists the things here that you haven't got installed um, if I do uh, control shift P and uh, remove uh, you do this to uninstall things installed with package control but it's an easy way of seeing uh, some of the plugins I've got installed and uh, so there's editor config which is installed uh, Emmet is quite useful uh, this uh, enables you to uh, it's kind of code completion for CSS and HTML and uh, git gutter will show you the state of uh, files if they're uh, when you change files, it will show you there's a modification that needs to be 
uh, committed, it can be quite handy, uh, then uh, we have uh, SAS uh, syntax highlighting, which uh, I've just installed, and uh, Sublime uh, JS Hint. Uh, this is a linter which gives us uh, an understanding of the quality of our, our JavaScript uh, code. So I'm going to show how Sublime uh, Linter uh, works. And let's uh, go into a script file. And uh, here, if I uh, put some JavaScript which is uh, not valid, uh, you can see that it gives us a warning and it says uh, that DDD is not defined. So this is quite helpful as you're writing out your JavaScript. It um, it shows you uh, where you've got potential errors before you try and run it. Um, there's various uh, settings and configuration uh, uh, configuration options for this. So I'm going to do Control uh, Shift P and lint to search for commands to do with linting and uh, these are the preferences that I have uh, so these are some of the preferences set for uh, JS hint now uh, these are actually overridden by my uh, local JS hint RC uh, so you can see things here like I've got indent uh, 2 and uh, uh, Bytewise true, allowing bytewise operations. This file was created as part of the uh, the Yeoman uh, install, and you could actually nest these uh, JS hint files um, if you if you wanted to in uh, in other directories. If you wanted different settings based on your directories, that might be useful for your uh, test. I'm just going to see if I can find uh, some more settings to do with JS hint. Uh, JS hint. And uh, yeah, plugin options. Uh, so we can we can choose uh, when JS uh, JS hint runs, and uh, I've got it set to run on edit. So every time uh, there's a key up event, then it will lint uh, my code and show me the errors in that file, and also uh, to lint on save. And uh, I've also had to set the uh, path to. Uh, to uh, Node.js um, so that it can find Node.js because it's using uh, that to run uh, JS lint. Um, you can have a look as well at uh, Emmet. Uh, Emmet is useful for writing uh, HTML. So if I'm in an HTML file and uh, it allows us to write HTML basically uh, using uh, CSS selectors or something like that. So uh, if I use dot, which represents a class name, and uh, let's say uh, uh, hello, and I use tab to complete, it creates a div with the class hello. Uh, if I do that with an ID there, um, uh, uh, number one, uh, and then do uh, tab to complete, then it gets an ID. Uh, and uh, let's, uh, I could add uh, custom attributes like, uh, let's say, name uh, equals fill, and uh, then it adds uh, a custom attribute here. Uh, you can do things like creating uh, lists, so I can do uh, uh, ul and uh, with a child of uh, li, with a child of a, and uh, that can have uh, href uh, equals, and um, then if I do uh, times seven, and uh, then a tab complete. Oh. It's actually the wrong. We'll just do it like this times seven, and uh, it gives me uh, an unordered list with uh, which I can 
tab into to get to the next line on that. Um, there, there, there is, you could do it with the syntax that I was using, well, with the uh, getting attributes and things at all the different levels of indentation. And, uh, but typically it's good to only use it for fairly uh, short things. Um, and uh, that is uh, some of the sort of helpful plugins uh, for Sublime.